I'll do the product mapping down at the unit level. So I'm just going to start by creating one product property and it's called mat loss. It's going to have two characteristics. Create a new characteristic called loss. And create another characteristic called mat. And the spec variables that are unique to the gloss mat characteristics are going to be my smoothness and my opacity. Okay, so now that I have that, I have to map these spec variables to my variables on the units. So to do that, I just edit the smoothness properties, go to the variables tab, and I pick my variables that I'm going to map to. So this is going to map to smoothness and smoothness. And then if I go to my opacity, go to the variables tab, that's going to map to my opacity. Okay, so now I have my mapping of my specification variables at the product property level to my variables on the units. So this smoothness mapped to this variable on PM1 dry end and this variable on PM2 dry end. So now I'm ready to configure specifications for this. So I could go into my mat gloss, enter specs, I'm going to choose my two characteristics, and I'm just going to put in targets so I don't have to go through everything here. Okay, so now I've got my specifications. Again, I just put in targets. I didn't add my upper and lower reject or warning limits. I'm going to save this and approve my transaction. So now I have specifications configured at the product property level, but in order to associate those specs down at the unit level, I would have to come down to my unit, enter specifications, bring up the products that I'm interested in. And then there's this other button up here for view property or unit characteristics. And this is where you do your mapping of your characteristic to your product. So this is a 50 gloss product. It's gonna map to a gloss characteristic. And you notice the spec just came in for my opacity and smoothness now that I did that mapping. So these propagated down from product properties down to the variable level. So this is going to be mat, gloss, mat. OK, so now I've done my association for all of my characteristics to each one of the products. And the, spec and the target specifications came in for each one of those products for those two variables. So that was the first way to do it, is to do the mapping right here at the unit level. So now I've only done it for PM1 dry end, so now I have to go do it for PM2 dry end. So first I'm going to save that. So now I'd have to come down to PM2 dry end and do specs and bring up my products, bring up my property unit characteristics and do the mapping. So gloss, mat. So again, my specs came propagated down from product properties as soon as I did that mapping. So that was the first way to do it.